Welcome back to the deep dive where we, uh, you know, really get into it with a new topic each week. That's right. We take these topics and we really dive in. Dive in. That's right. And uh, this week we're diving into something that's starting to feel very, very real. Driverless cars. Yeah. Well, almost driverless. Almost. Almost driverless. We've got this uh, Ford press release. It's all about the uh, latest update to their Blue Cruise software. They're calling it Blue Cruise 1.5. So it's got everyone buzzing about this update. You're going to love this. Yeah. You can now automatically change lanes for you. So buckle up as we break down exactly how it works, what it means for the future of driving, and maybe even answer the question, would you hand over the wheel for a lane change? Okay, so let's unpack this Blue Cruise 1.5 press release. What's the big headline here that caught your eye? Well, the automatic lane changing is definitely grabbing everyone's attention. And for mm -hmm. good reason, it's a pretty significant step forward in driver assist technology. Okay, you've got my attention with significant step. But before we get too far down the road, let's back up a bit. For those who might not be familiar with all the tech jargon, remind us what exactly IS Blue Cruise and how does version 1.5 change the game? So Blue Cruise is essentially Ford's answer to what we call hands-free driving, at least under certain conditions. It's important to emphasize that we're not talking about fully autonomous vehicles here. Right. It's not like you can just kick back and take a nap while your car does its thing yet. Exactly. Blue Cruise is designed for those long stretches of highway driving where you might start to feel that dreaded highway hypnosis, you know, when you're just cruising along and your mind starts to wander. Oh, tell me about it. I swear half my road trip memories are just blank spaces because of those highway zones. Right. Well, that's where Blue Cruise comes in with this system activated. The car can actually handle a lot of the driving load for you, accelerating, braking even, keeping you centered in your lane, all while you keep your eyes on the road, of course. So it's kind of like having an incredibly attentive co-pilot who's really good at those monotonous tasks. Precisely. And with Blue Cruise 1.5, that co-pilot just got even more capable. It can now analyze the traffic flow around you, identify opportunities to pass slower vehicles, and with your awareness, seamlessly execute those lane changes for you. Okay, now this is where it gets really interesting for me. So I'm picturing myself stuck behind some slowpoke in the fast lane, you know, the type. Mm -hmm. How does my car actually know it's time to make a move? Does it just go rogue and dart into the next lane? Definitely not rogue. Blue Cruise utilizes a whole suite of sensors, we're talking radar cameras, that works to create a 360 degree view of the car's surroundings. It's not just seeing like we do, it's processing data at lightning speed. Okay, so it's crunching numbers to make sure it's actually safe to make a move, not just getting impatient like some human drivers we know. Exactly, it's calculating distances, speeds, even predicting the trajectory of other vehicles. And here's the crucial part. It doesn't just blindly switch lanes. The system is designed to keep you, the driver, in the loop every step of the way. I was just about to ask about that. It's not like I want to be caught by surprise when my car decides to make a move, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Think of it as your co-pilot giving you a heads up. Right. Think of it as your co-pilot giving you a heads up. You'll get a visual alert on your dashboard, an audio signal, letting you know that Blue Cruise is about to initiate a lane change. It'll even tell you why it's making the move. Okay, so I'm not just along for the ride. I'm still in control. Absolutely. You always have the final say. If at any point you feel uncomfortable with the lane change, you can easily cancel it. Just tap your turn signal in the opposite direction or even touch the steering wheel and Blue Cruise will back off. It's like having a co-pilot who's constantly checking in with you. Hey, I'm thinking of making a move here. You good with that? Precisely. And Ford's internal testing suggests that this technology is already quite sophisticated. Their engineers found that in optimal conditions, Blue Cruise 1.5 could handle almost half of all lane changes. Wow, almost half. That's wild. You know, it's easy to get caught up in the nitty gritty of how this all works. But I want to zoom out for a second. Yeah. What does this tell us about the future of driving? Yeah. Are we all going to be sipping coffee and reading the news while our cars whisk us to our destinations? Well, it's certainly a compelling vision, isn't it? And while we're not quite there yet, this technology is definitely a step in that direction. It seems like Ford is betting big on this vision, too. I mean, they're rolling out Blue Cruise 1.5 in their 2025 Mustang Mach-E first. That's not exactly your grandpa's sedan. No, you're right. It's a savvy move on Ford's part. By debuting this technology in an electric SUV like the Mach-E, 
They're positioning themselves at the forefront of two major automotive revolutions happening simultaneously. Electric vehicles, A&D, autonomous driving. It's like they're saying, hey, if you're the kind of person who's excited about the future of driving the Mach-E with Blue Cruise, 1.5 is for you. Precisely. It's just they're targeting early adopters, those who are comfortable with technology playing a more prominent role in their driving experience. And speaking of driving experience, Ford's press release had some interesting tidbits about how people are actually using Blue Cruise in the real world. Oh yes, the user data. That's always fascinating to see how theory translates into practice. What stood out to you? Well, for one, it seems like people are already pretty comfortable handing over some control, at least for shorter trips. They found that about 77% of Blue Cruise trips in the U.S. were under 20 minutes long. That makes sense. For now, people seem most comfortable using it for what Ford calls highway drive time. Those stretches where you're mainly cruising along like your daily commute or errands that involve a good chunk of highway driving. Right. It's like, I can handle the stop and go traffic, but those long stretches of highway, I wouldn't mind some help there. Exactly. But here's the thing. They also found that for trips lasting over an hour, Blue Cruise usage jumped to over 50 percent. Oh, that's interesting. It seems like once people get used to the idea, they're willing to trust it for longer periods. Absolutely. It suggests that as people become more familiar with the technology and more importantly, build trust in its reliability, they're willing to use it for more significant portions of their journeys. So we're seeing it used for quick commutes. Andy, those longer hauls. Blue Cruise is out there in the wild, changing how people drive. This isn't some futuristic fantasy. This is real life. It really is. Yeah. And it speaks to a larger trend we're seeing in the automotive industry. The lines between traditional cars and, well, rolling computers are becoming increasingly blurred. AI automation, it's all converging. And Blue Cruise is like the poster child for that. Yeah. It's not just about like, oh, this makes my drive a little easier. Yeah. This is changing how we think about cars. Yeah, and it makes you wonder, like, where where does it stop? Yeah. Like, how far does this go? Or are we going to get to a point where we look back and think, like, wow, remember when we used to actually, like, turn the steering wheel and stuff? I know. It's like using a rotary phone or something. Yeah, exactly. So I got to ask, would you feel comfortable? It's funny you should ask that. Handing over the wheel to Blue Cruise 1.5, letting it make those lane changes for you. I mean, honestly, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't at least a little bit yeah. nervous about it. Yeah. It's one thing, like you were saying, to sort of understand how it works right. in theory. But to actually do it, to actually take your hands off the wheel and trust the car to do the right thing. It's a big leap. It is a big leap of faith. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, who knows? Maybe in a couple of years we'll all be like, wait, you still drive yourself? That's crazy. I know, right? Like, what are you doing? Remember when backup cameras were like, whoa. Yeah. The future. Now I can't imagine having a car without one. It's amazing how quickly these things become normal. It really is. And that's what makes all of this so interesting to me. It's like we're seeing the future of driving unfold right in front of us. Well, that about wraps up our deep dive into the world of Blue Cruise 1.5 and the future of driving. We covered a lot of ground today, from the nitty gritty of how automatic lane changing works to the bigger questions about our relationship with our cars. Yeah, it's been fun to dive into. But remember, the conversation doesn't end here. We want to hear from you. Would you feel comfortable letting Blue Cruise 1.5 take the wheel for lane change? Head over to our social media pages and tell us what you think. And if today's deep dive has sparked your curiosity, don't let the learning stop here. There's a whole world of information out there waiting to be discovered. Until next time, happy driving everyone.